Now I've got a neat little streamer for you today. I came up with this one a couple years ago for chasing panfish on a local pond. And I wouldn't really consider this a novel pattern, but it does use two materials that you don't often see used together. And that's white marabou and then some bucktail. And it's a pretty sparse fly, so it doesn't use a lot of either. Now the only size I've ever tied this on is a size 10, which a lot of y'all would consider that a micro streamer, but it's a pretty good size for panfish or for trout if you fish in small water or use really light tackle, which I do most of the time. Now it's a generic bait fish pattern, silver body, white marabou, and then some kind of dark hair on top. And if you want a little bit of colored hair in between the, the dark and the marabou. Now it's a fun, simple tie, and if you don't have something like this style in your fly box, I'd encourage you to tie up a few of them. Little guys like this can be a lot of fun to fish and surprisingly effective. So there it is in the vise, what I call simple little marabou hair wing. Now I'm tying this, kind of a micro streamer. This is a size 10, four extra long streamer hook. Let's go ahead and pinch this barb. And I'm using black thread, but you could use any color thread you want, just depending on what color head you want. We'll catch it in up front. Don't need to take it all the way back just yet. Now we'll catch in some Mylar tinsel. I believe this is a medium. Gold on one side, silver on the other. I want the body to be silver, so catch it in with the silver side toward the hook. Big open wraps, taking it to the back here. Now just wrap this up. And I used to spend a lot of time worrying about this, trying to get these wraps perfect so you didn't have any black thread showing underneath. I don't really do that anymore. Just wrap it up. If you have any blue showing or black showing, don't worry about it. Now, after you catch it off, one or two wraps here, what you can do, if you didn't put any kind of adhesive down underneath it. Just fold it back over and take a couple wraps right there. Doing that, you should never, it should never unravel on you. Now the next thing I wanna catch in, just a small tuft of white marabou. You might wanna lick your fingers. Um, it'll pull it, you know, hold it together while you tie it. And it, it'll certainly come back, you know, fluff back up before we're done probably but I don't usually make them much longer than the bend of the hook because they will tend to foul around it if you get them too long. So I think about right there is fine. Let's catch this in. I got this fluffiness. I might should have trimmed it before I did this, but we'll make it work. So three wraps will hold that just fine. Now here's where I bury this one. I just mix up the, the middle layer, the first layer of bucktail and the one in the vise at the beginning was orange i'm going to go with a pink i don't know if i've ever tied this in a pink but take a look at this bucktail it's a little bit crinkly this is not going to stack very well as opposed to that orange i did before this is some pretty straight good quality stuff so the orange stacked really well this pink probably not so well so we're just going to have to stack it by our hands with our fingers so you kind of just grab the really long ones pull them out until you get a tuft let's see about what you you think you need right there so it's not huge it's going to give it a, a little hint of color so i think that's going to be fine right there and i do spin my bobbin holder clockwise a few a few turns just to get this first bite kind of tight see that's a pretty pretty thin um, cord of thread right there and that's going to just you know really bite in and we can take it forward a little bit you don't have to do real tight wraps up here now snip this if you want to get a little angle it might help your head at the end if not I wouldn't worry too much about it and for the top part of it just regular brown bucktails anything dark I think is gonna work now mine this one is it's pretty decent so it stacked pretty well I think let's see yeah that's pretty straight there now let's see how'd that do. Yeah, that did fine. That might be a little bit more than I want because I kind of like these pretty sleek. So I'm going to grab the tips and just try to thin this out a little bit right there. And I ended up thinning that maybe by a third here. Okay, so that's about how long I'm going to want it, but 
I want my thread to be in the back when I catch that first wrap in. So there we go right there. Measure it again. I think that's gonna be fine. Do a little pinch wrap right here, again with my thread corded up. Okay, that's flaring a little bit, but how we take care of that, you can let your thread un flatten out a little bit, so uncord up, and then take a couple of medium wraps going back if it's got too much flare on the back. So I like it laying kind of flat like that. And don't worry if you don't think you're gonna see that silver under there. I promise you, when this is in the water, you will definitely see it. So let's go ahead and snip this up here. And now just build a big old streamer head up here. Okay, that head's a little bit bigger than normal, but you know what, this is a fish and fly. I'm totally fine with that. I could actually make it even bigger if I wanted to paint some eyes on it. So there we go, just a little marabou hair wing. Very simple tie, but you know, I've had a little bit of luck with this thing. So that's it my friends, I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.